Jeremy here, uh, PorchFragrance.com, 303-666-9020. Um, these these uh, next two frames, I apologize. I normally wash them, but my, my uh, hot seat is down right now, um, which is unfortunate. They're not super cheap through play. So, um, But I'll still show, I mean, it, it, the only thing that does is just gets the grime off. So, I mean, it is what it is. I'll show you any areas that have a little dirt on them. Um, what not so first and foremost we're looking at two frames but i'm going to list these individually so it'll be two separate videos 87 and 95 uh, yj four cylinder uh, i'm not going to go into the extent of using this on a six cylinder yes it's easy to do uh, but there's some modifications required the frames themselves are exactly the same <clears throat> the difference is the motor mount location call me if you have any questions about that i just talked about another video so you can look up some videos of ours and probably get some information on that Okay, first and foremost, the rear uh, subframe or your uh, bumperette or if you're putting a rear bumper on is gone on this frame. Um, they had an aftermarket bumper on this and maybe didn't know exactly that they could keep that on it, but anyway, they lopped it off. So uh, it is what it is. That's gonna be discounted heavily because of that. If it wasn't for that, this would be an A-frame. Um, so we'll call it a low B. Um, and it'll price it you know around the 1200 mark on this guy um if you need that piece um i probably have a frame i can sacrifice that is really low grade um some of the ones i put up yesterday of our six cylinders we only have low grade sixes right now um, and those are probably if they don't sell uh we'll start taking pieces off of them and completing these and if you need somebody to re-weld it back on i can have uh, one of my guys do that it would up the price um, if you want to mess with it, that's going to save you some money. Okay. Um, although it's not cleaned up, we scoped this frame. Looks good inside. Really nothing on this frame that's concerning other than that, which is, like I said, a bummer. Um, even the top subframe, gas tank, rails, nice and clean. I'll flip it over here in just a second. Um, I got a big trip coming up, so I'm trying to get everything listed frame-wise because we're having a ton of requests on them. People are trying to get on this load, and I appreciate that. We appreciate it as a family owned small business um, and I think they appreciate just to get you know get get some photos and videos up of it so this one's a little bit wall wallered out here um, not uh, the rest of them are perfect um, uh, not super common or not super rare I should say it does happen on uh, YJ frames it's where it's just two bushing squish together and you get some sand in there and it just vibrates uh, and sands that that down that's actually still okay normally they're kind of split at the top there pretty easy to fix that one um otherwise uh you know all this stuff here i don't know if i have anything rough enough that i can get a rock or something this is what i would like to take a hot seat for and you can see so underneath here uh all this grime is black nice black smooth paint so that hot seat gets up and going before um i ship or or send this myself depending um i will wash these but and I can more than happy to send you more photos later, especially if we get a deposit on something like this. So, um, yeah, so that's it. Everything else looks great on it. Uh, let me flip it over real quick. Um, that's one of the reasons I like doing videos because, you know, I sometimes I miss things myself and the video allows me to scan them uh, and go from there. So, um, okay, so again, you're looking at the back half there. Um, solid piece, good bushing holes. Um, this bolt, I probably can still get out. I was going to see if it's spun it, spinning. It's not. So two are okay here. One in the middle. I'll have to see. Those guys got one, uh, kind of the opposite here. Two broken ones here and one in the middle. Again, we can do this, but it will save you some money. I'll knock off, you know, substantially on these frames that you'll have to do a little bit of cleanup work on them. Those can be extracted. Otherwise, you can drill them out, retap them. Um, and that's usually the easiest thing to go. You can nutsert them. Uh, there's a few things on those. So um, that hole right there is not factory. And my guess, hope there's not one over here. My guess is they did that to, I don't know why they would have done that here. Anyway, um, let's see if I'm looking at things right. That would be this side. Oh, you know what? Take that back. That is a factory hole. So yeah, they're on all of them. Okay, cool. I've, I've seen a lot of them lately that have had cutouts um, there a little bit bigger than that to get access to bolts. So there's not, um, that's all factory there, uh, whatnot. So uh, a couple things, again, to reiterate, you got back bumper support or bumperette support, 
So a little bit of work there. You got uh, a couple extractions, two there, maybe one in the middle. So just put that, that that is gonna be one. I'll try to get that out. And then the rest of it is good. This here, we take these off anyway, and it's solid underneath it. There's nothing rusted here. Um, that's the cover, the bumper, the rubber part falls off, real thin metal underneath them. Really the only thing that protects them because it's bare metal underneath and doesn't take long to do that. So 13 millimeter pops them off and you're good to go. Um, everything else nice and clean on this guy. I'll get some photos of it real quick before we run out of light tonight and just do one more brief shot of it. If there's anything you see on it that I missed, especially as I'm kind of running through these a little faster than normal. Please shoot me a message or give me a call, 303-666-9020. Thank you and have a great day.